Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a cold banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, I'm back out at Vintage Oaks because I have an out-of-state client who's considering buying one of these Perry homes. Behind me is a house that's on the market as of mid-November 2021, and this is their very popular 3740 plan. This house was built in 2018. It is a four-bedroom house, single story, and it is gorgeous. And as of right now, the seller is asking $919 for this house. Anyways, let's go check it out. All right, this is a beautiful home on kind of the back part of Vintage Oaks. This is Merlot Street, and there's not a really a lot of traffic going back here because there's only, uh, there's not as many houses back in this direction, but you're at a really high spot in the community. And one thing I definitely want to point out about buying a house that's just three years old is some of the things you don't have to worry about, like the landscaping. Per the listing agent, the sellers have put in about $100,000 worth of landscaping, and it really does show. Sorry, I got people driving by. And one of the things that they did, which I'm a big fan of, is this big horseshoe driveway going around. Makes it very convenient for your guests to come and go. And having this hardscape done means you're really not gonna have to worry about maintaining uh, so much grass because this is a one acre lot, but the maintenance could be relatively low. This is a three car garage. You can see the garage is back there. And as you're walking in, you can really tell they've got a lot of sage and smell good stuff. So, and some lavender, I, there's a lavender, I'm pretty sure that's lavender, but, um, I definitely see the sage and I love sage for butterflies and all that good stuff. But this is a just a beautifully done house. It's already got the gutters, got blinds. This thing is move in ready. Definitely love the little flagstone walk path. They've put some tender loving care into this house. All right, let's head on inside. Loving the entrance, the double doors, the little concrete done. It's just beautiful. All right, right when you come inside this 3740 plan, meaning the square footage is also 3,740 square feet, you're going to have an office right up front with beautiful French doors. And they're using this office kind of as a sitting room space. But you will have tall ceilings on it, extra can lighting, and one of the signatures of this plan is this little entryway feature, this little round rotunda type space, really nice. But right up still on the front part of the house, we do have two secondary bedrooms. I'm loving this uh, wood-like tile floor. It's tile, but it looks like wood. So, decent sized room. Let's check out the closet space. Now remember, people do live here, so I'm gonna to try to respect their privacy as much as possible. Look, good sized closets. And also wanna point out the eight foot doors throughout. If you've got a single story home, it's, it's worth it to get that eight foot doors. And the, all this, this house I mentioned before has blinds. People building a, a new house are usually quite surprised there's like man blinds don't come with a house and typically they do not and it will cost extra to get blinds put in and gutters i noticed this house did have gutters as well this house does have a powder room up front kind of for the general public to use carries that uh tile floor throughout very nicely done all right, and this room can be used as a formal dining room, uh, lounge area, whatever you want to use because there is another breakfast nook area and I'll show that in a second. But just loving these big windows here and lots of space, big baseboards in this house. But this is the main kitchen area until they went a little rock facade there. Now, the one thing I can have on this house is I do wish the granite was a little more modern, a little more bling to it. This is a level two ornamental granite. It's nice, but as we're filming this, it is 
like I said, November 2021. It feels a little dated. However, um, it's not that expensive to replace granite. Uh, here in the greater San Antonio area, we have a place called the Granite Road and so many places that can get granite done. So you can be pick out your own slab. This is a gas community, so you have your four burners, nice Venta hood set up here. I do love the fact that they've got a granite sill, uh, single basin sink. Very nice. They got the filtered water set up there. Something else that I absolutely love are these load from the top microwaves. Every video tour when I see this, I just gotta open it because I think it's such a great idea being able to pull your food up with no risk of pouring. So it's really nice. Um, also FYI, Perry is building a brand new version of this plan of the 3740 plan, their asking price right now is $940,000. This one they're asking 919. So if you're comparing the two and you wanna have some extra money to be able to put your own personal touch on it, you really can. All right, we do have the utility closet right here. Let's check out the three car garage from the inside. All right, plenty of space. I love the extra deep stuff there so you can do more storage. This house does have a water softener and this is a surprisingly expensive upgrade is the in-house vacuum cleaner. You don't see that too often anymore because most people don't splurge for the in-house vacuum cleaner because they realize like, wow, that's a, like a $6,000 upcharge but it also has built-in speakers throughout the house and lots of extra can lighting, which I really do like. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you more about the, me looking around to see if I can find some of that uh, in-house vacuum stuff. But this also has a game movie room. I love a movie rooms. So they've really done this upright. They've got the speakers already built into the ceilings and they got it already painted and plenty of space to be able to sit back and watch a movie. So I get this kind of eye level there. There you go. But having the blinds are there, you can shut that off if you wanted to. Just a nicely done room. Like I said, super tall ceilings in here. All right, something else I want to point out, this is something that Perry likes to do. Um, for extra storage, they will have these in here so you can tuck it away for things that you don't use very often. You never have too much storage space, in my opinion. This does have the dual ovens. Those are by GE. Well, let's move into the great room space. You do have a fireplace. They took the rock all the way to the ceiling. Nice little nook there for your TV. All right, before we go into the owner suite, I definitely want to show off this other bedroom. They kind of got tucked away. It's a really nice spot for a guest bedroom, kind of a little bit away from everybody else. So we still have tall ceilings and this guest bedroom is going to have its own full bath. So it's going to have the shower tub combination, just your standard guest bathroom and they're gonna have a closet back there. All right, let's go ahead and go outside because that's a huge selling point for this house. The sun sets on the front of the house, which in my idea is a really good thing because I like to do my back porch sitting, uh, especially come five or six o'clock at night. And it's not easy to do that during the summertime if the sun is setting on your back porch. And this is the perfect porch for some back porch sitting time. They've got it uh, kind of tiled in or at least stamped where it looks like tile. We've already got pre-wired for the TV and I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna have that thing pre-plumbed for gas. Speaking of which, this is on the propane side of the community. So there will be a buried propane tank and uh, that really costs like $300 a year to get filled out once a year. But 
man check out this view and not a bad place to be sitting out here having a little drink time coffee time whatever you do whatever your preference is but because also they have it such um hardscaped in not a lot of lawn to mow um you do have your dual air conditioning systems the nice little walking path to it but this is it for lawn to maintain so it's not a huge amount they do carry these giant flagstones all the way back and then we got the septic system um, on these one acre lots here in texas you are going to have a septic system don't let that freak you out they're easy to maintain you can have higher companies come in and do that for you one thing i will caution you see we do have a pretty good drop off if you have a large dog not i advise probably not looking for something with a huge stairs going to the backyard large dogs do end up having like hip dysplasia and those are quite a few steps coming down to the backyard but this is where i'd be spending most of my time out on this beautiful covered patio area all right let's head back inside and check out that owner suite I'll mention that in-home vacuum. Here's one of the ports for it. So really, you're not having to tote a vacuum cleaner around, you're just kind of hooking a hose up to the wall and all of a sudden it just sucks all the dirt uh, from your hose and your wand there and put it in the tank. And also right underneath this cabinet, you'll see a little sweeping port. So if you're using the old fashioned way of pushing the broom, you just push it up there lift the lid and it just sucks it all up no need for a dustpan very convenient and yeah well as many windows are in this house having blinds already in it is definitely a plus all right let's go back through this big beautiful master bedroom showcase just how tall the ceiling is because that's a I believe a 12 foot ceiling in here so loving how many windows you've got and the beautiful view of the trees back there and more of that in-house vacuum all right let's check out this uh owner suite bathroom you are going to have dual vanities very nicely done a nice soaking tub i can smell they got a little vanilla oh there's a candle i bought that. i smell vanilla and a nice little soaking tub Beautiful shower set up. It does have the bench for you already. Now it's also going to have a his and her closet. So like I said, they're still living here, so I'm not going to show too much. But I'll just showcase the size of that closet. And this is the other closet going way back down that way. And then your water closet. Plenty of space, won't make you feel crowded at all. All right, let's do one last big look of this general area, including just how wide this entryway is. Very nicely done. And I love the tray ceilings up there. So yeah, this is a really nice plan that Perry builds. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this pre-existing home that was built in 2018 by Perry Homes. Remember, it is a 3740 plan, which is also their square foot. Also, a little tidbit that I almost missed. If you're looking at buying this house, but not quite ready to move in, per the listing agent, the sellers will be open to doing a lease back because they're actually getting a house built out of state. So that could work out for your favor if you want to get something on a contract but you're still waiting for like three or four months prior to moving in you can do that especially if these low interest rates are expecting interest rates to go up all right that's going to do it for this tour if you've got any questions feel free to reach out to me if you're looking to move this area remember buyers do not pay realtor fees and of course if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to my channel and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye